In this video, we're gonna be talking about software. I'm gonna be showing you how to get started, how to pick out a template, and how you can be launching your app in just a few minutes. There's gonna be timestamps throughout this video so you can pick where you wanna start. And we have a special deal. If you are brand new to Softer, you get an additional 10% off using my code DOCWILLIAMS at checkout. Remember, you can start for free using this platform, and when you're ready, you can upgrade using my code. Softer is a platform where you can create custom apps for your business. You can use Airtable or Google Sheets to power your client portals, partner apps, or internal tools. If you look under solutions, you can see several different options how you can be using Softer, including creating client portals, internal tools, mobile apps, marketplaces, online communities, resource directories, and websites. If you wanna see how that can be possible, you can click on some of the solutions, then you can get a detailed view of how this is gonna be possible. It even allows you to see different examples of whatever kind of solution you're trying to build. Along with that, if you go to templates, it allows you to break down all the different templates that software provides. They even have included new ones such as Team Wiki and Client Portals, just to name a few. To get started, you can sign up for free. And there's a link down below for my affiliate link if you want to use it to get started for free using software. Once you've created your account, you're going to be going to your dashboard and you're going to be able to see your applications, learn more, or you're going to be able to have help and support. Let's start on the left hand side. For applications, this allows you to see all the different applications. You can see your own apps and then the ones that are shared with you. The shared with me section would be if you're, the shared with me section would be if someone has shared a application with you and you're either editing it, modifying it, or you're maintaining the application. Under the learn more section, documentation will be provided so you can do more detailed things or video tutorials so you can see how to use this platform more effectively. Under help and support, you can chat with the team, you can connect with people in the community or submit feedback. It also allows you to see what's going on new for the platform and this helps you because they're always releasing something new with softer several times a month so you can see what they're adding and then also you can see the roadmap, what they have in store coming up. To get started, I'm gonna go with templates. Now this allows me to move faster and be able to have everything in place and then I can modify it instead of starting from scratch. So I'm going to look at an a application that I wanna use. I'm looking at the team wiki. I'm gonna to go to preview and this allows me to preview the different pages that this template has. And then on the left-hand side, it allows me to see the features and functionalities to see if this is the right thing for me. This is really important because this can be overwhelming if you're just gonna be randomly picking a template. Write down on a piece of paper or a Notion doc or just a Google doc, what are you trying to create and what features do you want? And focus on one main feature. Although the application can do a lot of different things, if you focus on one and then build out, that will allow you to have the main functionality for you to, to start with your MVP or your minimal viable product and then scale from there. After looking at this template from Team Wiki, this looks like something I want to use. So I'm going to use this template. Now, before I click use this template, I wanna make sure that I have a database or backend connected so that way it can save my uh, results, it can save my information. Now, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna be using Airtable. If you go to Airtable.com, you can sign up for free. And so for software and Airtable, they both you can both start for free and then scale up from there. You can also use Google Sheets as well, but I'm gonna use Airtable for right now. So I go to Airtable.com, I sign in, and if you haven't created an account, sign up for free. There's gonna be a link down below as well. Now I'm in my account in Airtable. I'm gonna go back to Softer. Now that I'm back at Softer, I'm going to use this template. I'm gonna click Use Template, and now it's going to ask me to connect my Airtable. It gives me a step-by-step -step guide how I can connect this application in just under 20 seconds. So you're going to navigate to Airtable. You're going to go to your profile. You're going to click Account. 
from account, you're going to then be able to scroll down to your API section and grab your API key. Now, make sure when you're doing this that you're keeping this private. This is really important. So you don't want to show this to other people. Once you have that information, you can navigate back to back to software. And now I can add my connection. And this allows me to copy uh, copy the base of your Airtable account. So all of the back end, what the uh, the wiki will look like, all the images, I'm going to be copying over all of that information into my account. So it says copy base to your Airtable account. I'm going to add base. Looks beautiful. It has all the information here. And this is just dummy information. You can change it, of course. But now we have that. And now I'm going to create application. As this thing is loading, I want to let you know that after doing a poll and doing a whole report, 50% of no coders, so 50% of you that are watching this right now have not made a dollar using no code and you're looking to create a business. What we have created is the 2022 no code industry trends report. And this allows you to understand what people are using to make money, what tools they're using, what kind of business model that they run in order to scale and create their own kind of business that they love. If you're an entrepreneur, a creator, a builder, all those things, there's going to be a link where you can click and get that report for free. Back to the tutorial. Now that we've connected to Airtable, we've done a lot of the tasks. So nine out of the 11 tasks have been completed. For example, connect data source, visualize your data as a list, add a list details page. All those things have been created because we are using a template we connected Airtable. So at the bottom, it allows us to see what's missing. It says customize colors and font and add your domain. So we're almost done. It's almost done a lot of the works for us just automatically. To get oriented with Softer, on the left-hand side, it allows us to see pages, theme, user, and settings. Pages allows you to see all the different pages of your application. So similar to how you're creating websites that have different pages, that's the pages section. Then if we look under theme, this allows us to understand the theme of the entire application. It allows us to see the typography, the heading fonts, the weights, the heading color, the body weight, all of these different things to really make this a uh, custom feel of what we want our application to look like. I'm just going to make a quick change by changing the font style. I'm also going to change the typography to 16. Then I click save. From there, it's going to reflect the changes that I just made and it's going to update everything. From users, it's tying in all that information that we have from our, uh, from our error table and it's bringing in all the information, the users and all that information. We have users on one tab and then user group. So this allows us to segment the type of users that we have for, on the application. We have logged in users, all users, employees and managers. This is important because now we can decide what users can and cannot see. Under settings, we have general settings so we can change the favicon, the subdomain, we can also turn on and off softer branding depending on what plan you're on. We have custom domain, data sources. Right now we're using Airtable and it's connected to that. Integrations, which allows us to now have other things such as Google Tag Manager, HubSpot Chat, Intercom, Google Analytics, just to name a few. We have user groups and permissions and mobile apps. So this enables a mobile app, which is a PWA, a progressive web app. The progressive web app is available under the business plan, but you can try it for free for 30 days. So you can upgrade it and see if this is the right thing for your application. You can optimize your SEO. You can change the format of the email signature and more under the settings section. Let's go back to the pages tab and we're just going to go to the home. So we're going to go back. Let me go back into the application pages and now we're taking to the home section, the home page. If we're looking at the middle section of the page now, this is where we can actually create blocks similar to websites. So if you're familiar with Elementor or any kind of WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, such as Shopify, Squarespace, you're going to be seeing uh, little blocks where you can add 
sections. Now, if I click the plus sign, it allows me to have a series of different types of blocks that I can add, such as a header section, hero section, features, call to action, partner, all these different things. So instead of me trying to building up everything from scratch, I can just add a section that has already all those sections for me or that block for me. For example, I added this hero section. So it already has all the formatting for me. And then when I click that block and I can click into any block and it will allow me to see what's in it, I can then change the title, the subtitle, the image, the image alt, which just means so if it's not appearing, if the image isn't appearing, what do you want to have there? You could have a phrase or uh, words to describe what's going to be there. That is really important if you're trying to boost your SEO. You can add a background image. You can add a button. And also you can embed a block as well. So the middle section is allowing you to at a glance see what's going on with your app. I can also click move down or move up. So that allows me to move the different block sections very easily. I can duplicate them or just um, delete them or I could make invisible. So maybe I want to use them later, but I, for right now, I'm just not going to be using them. So that's the middle section. Once again, you're clicking into one of the, the blocks on the right hand side, you're going to be able to change the features, the titles, the subtitles. You're also going to be able to change the styles of the block and then also different rules for visibility. You can have it shown to all users, logged in users, non-logged in users. This is really important if you're trying to have a custom experience with your application as people are using it. Next up at the top, we can see the different formats. For example, desktop, tablet, or mobile. Now this is really responsive, but it's allowing you to preview as you're changing what it's gonna be looking like for different devices. From there, I can also change the view, so I can change the view based on, on the different user. After we've made changes to the app, we can then preview the application. I can preview it, see what it looks like in different views. I can also get shareable links. And then when I'm done, I can click publish. It allows me to have a custom domain. I can have a one free one. And then also a um, subdomain. I can have that available as well. I can change the name. I'm gonna change that to Brand Factory Beta. And I see subdomain available. I can say publish or click publish. And wow, just published it, got the confetti, and you have just published your first application using Softer. Done this in just a few minutes. Again, this is really powerful to get started but you might be having a different idea. Let me know in the comment section down below, what are you trying to create and why? Softer is a great starting place when you're using no code. It's easy, just like you're building a website, that's how quick and easy you can be building with Softer in no time. And remember, we have the 2022 no code industry report that allows you to see how people are using Softer and other applications to grow their online business to create their MVPs. If you're interested, make sure you click down below to get access to this free report. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, make sure in the comment section down below, let us know and I'll answer every single one.